All right, coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. I won't deny you, I'm a straight rider. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense, consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. This guy has some of the best defense I've ever seen inside the octagon, and they say that defense is the best offense. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected. Shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record on one win, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Gokan, the Rebel Saki. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's we are underway. The kick lands. Connects there with the punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Able to check the high kick. Lands a punch there, Joe. Oh, caught him there with the head kick. Nice kick to the midsection. Tags him. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Nice jab. Good exchange there. Really hurt him with that hook to the body. Body kick, look at that. Oh, oh big right huge right hand! hand. He's definitely hurt. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? What a jab. 
Just out of range with that left hook. Straight punch is true. And he gets hit with an outside leg kick. Nice shot. How about that shin? Oh, powerful right leg kick. Misses a huge hook to the head. Pretty good straight punch forward there, Joe. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. And he eats a kick. Lands to the body there. Good defense here, Joe, as the hook to the head is blocked. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, he gets the takedown. That could be big. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Covering up, doing a nice job of stopping that ground and pound. Well, just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw offense. Staying busy here. You'd like to see that, Joe. There's a nice left hand. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Now the elbow is the weapon of choice. He lands a big shot from the bottom. That punch will work right through the guard. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Here's a huge punch that stuns. Here is a ruthless hammer fist landed from the top. And here's another powerful ground and pound strike. Brittany Palmer is here as well. Second round underway. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Tagged him. Oh, big kick. just misses. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Landed that one. Oh! This could be it right here. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh! Huge shot there. Land flush. Oh! Clipped him again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Big straight punch. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He got tagged there. Not there. Oh, he got tagged again. He's hurt. This could be it. Big shot with the there. left. Leg kick. Oh, that left thigh kick. Oh, no, he's got right here. Oh, he's oh, what a leg kick. Oh, he's hurt again. He's in big, big trouble. Oh, he missed that kick.
landed a huge kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. And let's look at that again. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliano has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Invincible! So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches.